Yo guys, how are you doing? In today's video, I'm going to be giving you a round analysis on how you should be using Sage's abilities properly. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first video here, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And make sure to leave notifications on so you know when I next upload. And in today's video, I'm going to be giving you a round analysis with Sage on how you should be using her abilities to your advantage. Now, I know I uploaded a beginner's guide to Sage and I gave a rundown on the abilities and how you should be using them, but I've got an example here on how you should be properly using her in a proper round um, situation. So let's get straight into this. Right, so as you've got here, as you see here, I've got a clip from our, um, one of my our, um, Twitch streams. I did have the clip, but I've decided to... Um, Get the full VOD so you can see the entire round and understand what was going through my head. We've got the stream, like we've got stream audio muted in case there's any copyrighted songs. But let's start it off. And as you can see here, I'm just pre uh, preparing my ice um, ball, and I throw my ice in my two favorite spots to throw it on the site. And if any of you want to copy it, then feel free. It hits onto ramp and to window exact. As you can see here, it stops them from peeking, so we can slightly push straight onto a main and maybe try and push on. I think she tried to, but the jet managed to peek window after the ice went, and you can see I see her there. I decided not to peek, and Cypher gets the um, ult on us. And I'm just slowly peeking just to make sure that no one's trying to watch us, and if they are, I'm going to try and take them out. Sofa comes up, and in this situation, I hear someone on a zip line, so I know where someone's coming from, and it's a ray, so she throws her grenade, so I step back, and I'm just planning my next plan. I'm I'm hiding in the corner because I don't think she's going to be there. But she throws a good boom bot and it gets me. She then jumps and misses and I'm already in a 1v4 here. You already saw the cypher in A main. And I'm in the corner here. So I need to have my corners checked. And what I need to do to give myself an easier, like, an easier way of clutching this is blocking off a line of sight. Meaning that I won't get shot from two angles. And you can see I do this here. So what I do is before I do anything, I try to load the wall up, but Sage, oh, but Sage is just able to jump over in time. And during that, I should have died to the race. However, my movement managed to put her off of a shot. And with the last few bullets I had left in my mag, I managed to take out the Sage and return back to my corner. And as you can see here, I've got already some coming up here to try and get me. I believe this is the jet here. And I've only got my pistol ammo, so I have to rely on my trigger finger to be able to deal with her. And as you see here, I also duck to make it easier to avoid the headshot. And also I managed to hit her once in the head beforehand as well. And now, I, in this situation, all I need to do here is just wait out for a few seconds so I can get everything fully reloaded. And if needs be, I could heal, but it wouldn't do much. It would only give me 6 extra HP, which in this situation may not be as important as if I was to take damage and need to. So I start to I start to reload my bulldog and I <clears throat> at this point I hear a cipher cam and I'm just looking around for it. And I can't see it but it's actually over this wall and it's got a, a good it's got a good line of sight onto me to fire the tracking dart which I'm not able to see unless I have to um crouch up. See, I, I get hit by the tracking dart, I quickly remove it, I get rid of it, and I um, try to jump over to see if I can deal with the Cypher on A main, but we have to deal with this um, raise first. I've got my ult ability, so I decide to try and res my teammate to try and put this in a 2v2 situation. However, the Cypher breaks free of the ice wall, takes out my raise, and as you can see here, I'm fighting the raise, which is probably a very risky move, because she's gone AWP and I've got a Bulldog, so... If I miss any of my shots, this could be game over. But luckily enough, I get I get the kill on Raze. I mean that I've got rid of the all part and I know there's only one person left and I know exactly where they're coming from. So I just know I, I need to have my I need to have, make sure I have my crosshair ready at the go. But I've only got five bullets left, so I need to make sure I hit all of my shots. In which, as you can see here, I miss I believe my first two, but my other um other three are able to hit and I believe the only reason I was able to do this is because of my um is because of my raise doing damage to him. 
but you could see just in this one round alone how I used my abilities. I used my abilities to freeze, I used my slow abilities to freeze off window and ramp, mean that they couldn't push us straight away and it stopped them from getting that peak which Jet gave a straight at the beginning of the round. And I also used my ice wall to block off um, a second ladder site so I could just focus on one. And I also used my ult ultimate ability to avoid being put in a 1v2 and that ult, although he didn't get a kill, he weakened the Cypher, meaning I had to put less shots into him to actually win the round. Alright, quick editor's note. While I'm, uh, while I'm editing this, I noticed that I didn't actually... Uh, um, I, I had My webcam was actually blocking my reaction, so I do apologise about that. So over this voiceover, I've got the clip of me reacting now. So anything I mentioned about the reaction, it's, clear, it's just from this bit of footage. And afterwards, I'm still on the floor a bit because I clutched up. So just wanted to get that out of the way in case people would be a bit confused if you just couldn't see what I was doing. And yeah guys, enjoy the rest of the video. And here I just have like a crazy reaction because I'm just in that tense moment. And I use my abilities correct that it works out. So we're going to see in a minute. I'm going to show you this round because I believe we lose this round. And I'm going to show you exactly why, what you shouldn't be doing. And what, like what you should be, like why... I messed up in this round and what I could have done to do better. Alright, so starting off, almost immediately we can already see what the issue with this round is. Is that because of my celebration, I spent no time preparing myself for this round. So, as you can see, I've got only 37 shield and I've got no abilities to use apart from my heal. So that's already the biggest mistake I could have done. And we'll already see what else I do wrong it here. We already see that our uh, jet gets killed straight away from the Rays using the shotgun. Rays uses her um, grenades, doesn't hit any of us too much, and the Phoenix could easily heal. I managed to get the Rays in this lucky moment, and I, sh I shouldn't be peeking because I'm the healer in this situation. And although I'm just won that round and I'm feeling very aggressive and feeling really good about myself, I that's something I really shouldn't have pushed. So. Another thing you can really see right here is the Phoenix is flashing and I can I can clearly see that he, he was playing the flash and instead of looking away I'm just I just keep looking as I'm reloading my gun which is already a big move in itself like a big mistake in itself because if a jet if a enemy decides they they turn around and avoid the flash and they can easily get a quick peek on me because I decided to continue looking at the flash although I could clearly see it. Yeah we can already see a, a bit a few big like mistakes in this round to show just because you have one good round doesn't mean you're gonna have them constantly you need to make sure you're always on top of your game and you always need to make sure that you're always checking for what you could be doing better which is what I'm doing in this video I'm t telling you what I've done right and I'm telling you what I've done wrong and what I need to be improving on so yeah, as we see we get flashed here and we're trying to push and I, okay, I was gonna say we already said tripwire there, I believe I looked over to it, but our teammate already took it out. And we're just trying to make sure that no one's there. We've got the Cypher here. It, it was just an uh, unlucky trade. He hit me three times. He um, I hit him three times. He hit me three times, but he got the headshots. So that got it, like he, that's the reason he won that gunfight. But then our teammate um, quickly cleared it up. And then afterwards you see that we will go on to lose this round, I believe. As the uh, Phoenix gets put into a 2v1. Oh, and the thing is, what you, maybe what you could have done there, but I don't believe it would have worked, is if the Phoenix wall could go up the stairs, that could have been a really good like play for him, because it mean that he would block off a line of sight, and he could take out the person in vent, and then if he was to successfully do that, he could have then gone into the firewall and regained a bit of health before the firewall went and he had to go challenge the sage. But um, yep, I believe we get hit, I believe here, he just gets immediately peaked by the sofa. Nope, but the sofa is just tap firing just to try and get his awareness. And our cypher, oh, okay, no. So, our cypher um, uses his ability as well to make sure that he doesn't get flanked. He gets hit, um, the sage gets hit by a tripwire, he, he luckily gets the sage, but then the uh, Rosover is there to um, take the kill. So that was a bit of a, um, 
of certain round, but that it, that shows you why you always need to be keeping on top of your game and always need to be making sure that you know what you need to be doing and how you can be doing stuff better. But yeah, guys, that's it for today's video. Let me know what you thought of this video. Did you like these sort of like round analysis videos? And if you do, make sure to leave a like. If you don't, make sure to dislike and comment down below why you don't and what you'd rather want to see. But yeah, guys, that's it for me. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Peace out.